looks like I'm live. Who's about? Who's about? Happiness is to know the Saviour living a life within His favour, showing a change in my behaviour. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is a new creation, Jesus and me. In close relation, having a part in his salvation. Happiness is the Lord. Hello, hello, everyone. I ain't done a live for ages, man. Cool, it's been a while. I thought I'd give it a go. Um, how are you all? <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I've been going through a bit of a interesting journey you know such as life and um yeah and i'm an open book i suppose you know i share everything um as much as possible um, being authentic as i am and uh and that's what i do you know um if i can be authentic and be real um it kind of gives people permission to do the same and um and that's what we're supposed to do we're supposed to share stories we're supposed to um, share experiences so that we learn from each other. And, uh, you know, and that's, that's important in our Christian journey as well. You know, um, holding on to things by yourself, trying to figure it out, um, that doesn't help. This is why fellowship is important. Um, but, you know, I have my secret closet time with the Lord on a regular, you know. And... Um, you know, everything that I do, my walkabouts and what have you, whatever I'm doing, any decision I'm making, I'm, um, you know, I'm consulting him, you know. I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. He's my governor, as I say to everyone. But, yeah, um, I do love you all. Um, I know some of you think I've gone off the rails a bit, um, maybe so, but that's all right. That's a process, you know, and uh, God allows that for us to kind of figure things out. And, um, you know, and he convicts us. He lets us know, right, OK, you've um, you've experienced this. Now, what have you learned? So I'm, I'm as I said, you know, um, I've, I'm a dancer anyway. So whether I, you know, share that dance with you guys, my emotions, what I'm going through, whether it's happiness, you know, sadness, anger, whatever. Um, you know, I've, I've actually shared that recently with you. I dance every day. I've been doing that since I was a nipper. You know, when um, I used to experience um, domestics um, with my mum, dad, and, you know, towards us as well. Um, I used to release those kind of emotions because I don't like holding emotions in through dance, through art. And that's my... Um, outlet you know obviously boxing too but um that's more on the discipline side of things but um really and truly art has been a major powerful tool for me so um yeah and i i encourage everyone to be very creative you know that's the right side of your brain which is very much uh emotional and um we're emotional creatures come on um unless you live in this tech world that you know they're trying to get everyone to become robotic in whatever way they want i don't know um but yeah so i just wanted to come up here today just to share that that you know i'm not gone do lolly people you know um i'm just expressing how i'm feeling um there's a lot going on as you know me and my daughter we are a mother daughter team and um you know when we came to the lord six years ago um, after a near-death experience, falling in the river, 40-foot drop ain't no small drop, you know. We, we're alive today. And, you know, how the Lord saved us, um, um, you know, um, I decided that I, I'm going to give my life to him, you know. And, um, and it was a supernatural experience in my bedroom. You know, no one shared the gospel with me. 
I didn't go to no church building. It happened in my bedroom. And, um, and I share my testimony with a lot of people, whoever I meet, whoever I, the Lord allows me to talk to. Um, I, I, I do that. I do that because it's important. That's what we all need to do. There's nothing to be ashamed about. I ain't no shy girl. And um, I could shout at the rooftops and let everyone know that I love Jesus, you know. So, um, yeah, and I'll go out there evangelising. Um, whenever the Lord tells me to do it, I'll do it. Um, and I'm going to do um, a next one in rugby coming up um, with a, a brethren that I met uh, recently. And uh, he just sent me a message, actually. He goes, Rav, do you fancy doing evangelising rugby? And I said, yeah, why not, man? Any opportunity, you know? Um, so, yeah, I mean... We're all a work in progress, and that's how I see my art too, you know. Um, whenever I'm painting, um, I'm kind of like in a process. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring things out. Okay, this don't work, that works, this works, and yeah, whatever. Um, and the same with my life, you know. Um, we go through various paths and what have you, and we strive, you know, one place or wherever, and then the Lord brings us back on the straight and narrow. And, um, you know, if you... I, one of the um, beautiful books that I've read and watched the film is Pilgrim's Progress. And it's amazing, that Christian journey there, it's, it's, um, <laughs> it's what we're all going through, isn't it? So, you know, um, whether people like it or not, you know. Um, I, I just can't stand people who think they're holier than thou, you know, that they don't make no mistakes. Cool, you know. We're here. We're here to learn from everything that we do, you know, and uh, we rely on God's word for direction and um, he, he puts us straight, you know, um, sorts us out good and proper. And um, and I love that. I love the fact that my Lord, um, you know, he, he he corrects me. Not only does he love me, he corrects me. I love that about him. So, um, yeah. And. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. No, I'm not off my rocker. Um, I'm just expressing, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, I'm going through a bit of emotional, um, you know, turmoil, um, and it's regarding my my daughter who's going through stuff. You know, she's um, she's in the process of, um, you know. Um, Maybe, maybe not. She was in the process of writing a letter to her dad that she hasn't seen for such a long time. Um, she's only 11 and she hasn't had a relationship with him for a good nine years. And um, it's it's been difficult for her. And, um, you know, and she finds it hard to forgive um, because it was a domestic um, relationship, um, which affected the whole family, including my two boys, um, the whole of his family, you know, and... Um, and she does want to get in touch with her 10 first cousins that she hasn't seen for nine years. She's got a huge family on both sides. So I, I want to just bring family together and, uh, and, and you know, um, again, that's a process as well. It takes time. You know, healing takes time. So, um, yeah, um, I'm in that process. She's also going through... Uh, early puberty as well so that don't bloody help um with her uh, hormones all over the shop so yeah um we're having a time out from each other um because you know it's easy for her for someone who's hurting to lash out with the one that she loves the most and um and, and i accept that you know and i i think you know as she's um working out her relationship what she probably wants or don't want with her dad um i mean they haven't had contact yet in fact i have i've I've made a contact with my ex and uh it's been pleasant um but i gave him like heads up like mate your daughter she wants some questions um like answered kind of thing and you best be ready um but yeah um so as this is you know, a relationship with a, a male figure. Um, she's staying with her brothers at the moment and they're supporting her. So, um, 
yeah, we're we're a very close family, and um, you know we love and support each other. Um, but yeah, please continue praying for us. You know, it, it has been difficult times, but you know, who said life is hunky dory? Eh? Um, we we got a we got to go through what we got to go through, and um, you know, and find the best solutions for every every issue that we have in life. Um, and God is um, God is got our back. You know, I know that. Um, Manaya has also had questions for God too. She showed a lot of anger towards him. And, um, you know, this girl, she knows scripture, man. I mean, we, we both read the Bible together three times on a row. Um, and uh, she's very efficient. Um, you know, we have our own study as well as study together kind of thing. So, you know, it's been, um, it's been a lovely journey with my girl, you know. Um, she's only five years old and, uh, you know, she's been reading the King James Bible. Even the 1611, the gothic font, she loves that. Um, so do I, because it helped my dyslexia. Um, yeah, you know, words used to dance about and I couldn't concentrate, but reading the gothic font actually helped me focus. Something happened to my neurons after that and um, I can read. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, obviously I wasn't labelled um, back then nor was I labelled ADHD, and that's why I'm a dancer. There's nothing wrong with those who work on the right side of the brain. We're just different kind of peeps, in it? And, um, and we express in a different way. We're out there. I can be introvert. I like my own company a lot of the time. And um, I can be an extrovert whenever I want to be. I'm a people's person too. Um, I like helping people um, of all age groups. So, yeah. And... Um, you know, I love intergenerational projects. I love bringing elderly people and young people together. Uh, that's my thing. Um, getting them all to be creative and storytelling. And oh, it's a magic, you know. And uh, I love seeing permanent life changes. Um, that's what I strive for, um, you know. Um, you know, I suppose coming from a broken background... Um, and went through the whole process of healing um you know god uses me to help other broken people and um and i you know i'm just um being obedient to god um i'm sorry if um people have kind of you know been a bit pissed off with me or whatever you know i'm not here to please anyone as i said everyone's going through their own journey you know, and um, we're supposed to kind of pray for each other, you know, encourage each other. Yeah, you can correct each other as well. Cool, of course. And um, and I hear that. I hear that. Um, but as I said, everyone has their own divine time from the Lord when things happen. And um, and I, I'm I'm going with what God has laid on the path for me so um i'm listening to him um but otherwise you know um i thought i'd quickly get on here um and share that and um yeah i love you all man honestly um and yeah i'm praying for everyone too it's what we all do for each other that's the christian thing isn't it we don't pray for ourselves we pray for each other and that's how the body of christ works yeah anyway um i'm gonna go um got things to do <laughs> um but i love you all and take care of each other yeah and we're you know all connected spiritually virtually physically if we meet physically but you know can't wait to go home though you know lord jesus come lord jesus mate we really um want to be out of here soon as man I want to go home, home in it, and uh, hopefully we will sit here, um, together, yeah, on the table, have the feast, <laughs> have a proper chin wag with each other, you know. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. So um, anyway, God bless you, people. Mwah. Love you and take care.